I describe the power of a well-spoken word as powerful. It's real and it can be life-changing, especially when that well-spoken word is the word of God. Let me see if I can unpack that a little bit. See, theologically, the word of God is almost inseparable from the character, the person of God himself. You and I think of words as abstract, symbolic placeholders for things like, you know, the word chair. But with God, it's a word is an extension of himself. And by mere words, we tend to think of mere words, he gets his stuff done in this universe. He creates the universe by words. He spoke and it happened. So we know that Faith, salvation, comes through the Word of God. How will they believe if they haven't heard? They have to hear the Word of God. Salvation is an act of God that comes through the Word of God. The Bible depicts the Word of God as a fire that burns away dross, as a hammer that breaks up stony hearts, as seed that is planted in good ground and grows and bears fruit. It is a lamp for our feet. It's good for guidance. It is a sword by which we battle the devil. It is a powerful, living, present word. So we want to speak it well. We want to get it across to our congregations. As the Apostle Paul commands Timothy, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture. And that's all involved because there is power in a well-spoken word.